Hey everybody, some gadget guy here and I am really stoked because we are finally getting to take a look at the new Inbox app from Google. This is a new take on email and I'm super stoked about this because one, I kinda hate having to deal with email. I was a big fan of Google Wave when Google went in and tried to change up how email works. So if Google can bring some special sauce to the table, some internet magic, I will be greatly appreciative. As we get into this video, this is definitely a first look. I have only been playing with Inbox for about a day, and I wanna throw a shout out to Christopher Trimble. He's a contributor on somegadgetguy.com who uh, took one for the team <laughs> and sent me his invite so that we could get this on video and share it with you fine folks. And this is the main screen that will greet you when you fire up Inbox. It's got a very Google Plus uh, material design look and feel, and a lot of things are gonna be instantly very recognizable, like this big red plus sign down at the bottom. Tapping on this plus sign is gonna bring up a quick toggle of actions and reminders. We can go instantly into composing an email, we can set a reminder, and then these are some people that you communicate with regularly. The whole point behind Inbox is that it's reading through your email and scanning for certain keywords and looking at who you communicate with the most to organize and prioritize messages for you to be better able to get through your email. We can see all of your messages are color coded or if you communicate regularly with someone, we'll see their online avatar, especially if they have any kind of Google Plus account, these show up pretty readily. There's very much a GTD, a getting to done feel behind inbox. So even with batches of messages, so even with batches of messages, we see these little clear icons here, this check mark with these little dashes, that's very quickly and very easily clear clear out a whole slate of messages. So let's say I've gone through everything that I need to get through today. We can like take a look. So we've got this promos tag. We can look through here. This is all promotional messaging and where I kind of dump things that are a little spammier. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. I don't see anything in there that's that's really all that important. And I've already been going through all of my YouTube comments through the Studio Creator app. So yeah, I can wipe out everything that's been sent to me today. I'm gonna hit this little check mark here. And see sweep marks all unpinned items in this section as done. So we're going to clear unpinned. More than 51 items will be affected, confirm. And all of that just gets wiped out. So unlike traditional email, where all of your messages are sort of organized by date or time or sender, and then they all just sort of stay put even after you're done reading them, the Inbox app is trying to clear things out so you can get rid of things that you don't need to pay attention to anymore. And if you're ever concerned about losing a message, there are two handy tools that can keep a message sticking around. So here's a message from 18 TPR. We actually did write up a story on this Kindle Fire HDX. Uh, we can clear it out with the check mark. We can snooze it. You can set a time for it to pop back up into your feed. So let's say, you know what? I wanna deal with this next week. I can set a snooze for some time next week and then it'll disappear from my feed and then pop back up later. Or if this is mission critical, but I just can't reply to it in this moment and I wanna make sure that I don't lose it, I can also pin it. And once it's pinned, we can also set a reminder, you know, like, hey, remember to write up a story on this press release. But now that it's pinned, we can go back into that main bucket. And the cool thing about Inbox is that based on this material design UI language, it's very gesture heavy. So if I want to reply to this email, I've got this little arrow down here where that plus sign used to be. This is always going to be the corner where you can look for editing and creation. But swiping, you'll start to see, I can go directly back to my Inbox with a swipe down from the message. And I can get to a proper reply bar by swiping up. This starts to act a lot like the commenting system on Google+, which especially for all of us that have been engaging with services like Facebook and Google+, and other social networks, this becomes a very natural action. It's sort of blending elements of instant messaging and social networking and email all together into something that is pretty readily accessible. It's pretty identifiable. This is something we're all becoming more and more familiar with. But I want to get back to my inbox, so I'm just going to swipe down. And then it pulls all of that information back from the sides. And it's a really clean look. I think they do a really good job of incorporating these types of organic gestures into an app as opposed to always having to rely on something like a back button to get you to where you need to go. And we see a little blue pin icon here, but those are kind of hard to see if you're having to scan through a lot of email. So Google gave us a quick toggle at the top. If you need to get to important stuff, you can always hit this toggle and it's gonna pull up information very, very quickly. So this toggle right here becomes your lifeline. This is mission critical communication. You need to deal with this stuff. You have told the Inbox app that this is important. You can get to it super fast. It's not buried in some other menu. 
you need to get to something pinned, it's right there. And Inbox is already tied in with all of your Google accounts, all of your Gmail accounts at least. I think we're still waiting on Google Apps users. Unfortunately, they kind of got the shaft again with Inbox, and it's probably going to be a little while as this is sort of a very public beta <laughs> for Google, especially as it's still invite only. But we can get into our side menu here just to see what else there is to offer in Inbox. You can quickly toggle through your various email and Gmail accounts right here at the top. Uh, we can go directly to our inbox. We can go to snoozed messages. We can also check out messages that have been declared done. Just in case we want to go back and check in on information, we can tap on this. These are recently marked as done. And this layout actually isn't quite as well organized as uh, the rest of the inbox layout. You kind of have to scan a little bit more, but they also mark this as a much lower priority because you've already done something or you've already cleared this information. Just like regular email, we've got folders for drafts, sent items, reminders, trash, spam. All of this is really, really normal email stuff, but then we get down to our bundles. In these bundles are where we also get these handy little color codes. So for travel, we're going to start seeing purple icons. And if I tap on travel, we can see some of my recent treks. Travel itineraries going back even years. Inbox is organizing all of that information. And I can very quickly get back to, hey, you know, when did I take that trip out to Delaware? Oh, right. It was back in February. So now I've got this information very cleanly and easily accessible. And the stock bundles are pretty well fleshed out. We've got a section for purchases. I buy a ton of crap off of Amazon. So being able to go and sort through purchases really easily, really quickly is kind of mission critical, especially around tax season. We've got info for finances, social networking. We've got mission critical updates. Anything that's flagged as important is probably going to show up there. Forums and promotional. So these also kind of fit into the same organizational category that Gmail introduced with tabs. But instead of dividing up and hiding information, like you can sometimes run into issues with tabs, everything sort of hits your main feed, but then gets bundled together via these individual little categories and criteria. And what's funny is they even sort of bundle unbundled items. So you can quickly get through your sent items, which technically don't fit into bundles because they're coming from you, they're not coming to you. You can also quickly scan through your deleted items. And then we also have a category for low priority messages. So even though this is technically unbundled, there is still sort of a non-bundle for information that doesn't fit into another bundle. At any time, you can also create your own bundle that you can then start sorting information. So say you get tons of news updates from certain blogs, you can set up a bundle for that. Say you want to set up a bundle just for a specific keyword or action, like so I'm some gadget guy online, I can create a some gadget guy bundle, and then start putting in messages that are specifically designed to interact with my online persona as a gadget reviewer. You still have have the ability to create and organize based on your own personal preferences. This isn't full autopilot if you don't want it to be. And there aren't a lot of additional settings to play with. We've got checkboxes for notifications, so we will see new messages pop up. There is a vibration alert. Uh, I am going to turn on lights enabled and it will play a sound. So that's all pretty basic, but you can toggle what you want inbox to do whenever you get a new message. Uh, we do have our label settings and notifications here. And for some reason right now, I'm only getting notifications on travel. You know, I, I actually do kind of care about my social. So I'm going to turn on notifications for social, even though this is going to blow up my phone a little bit. <laughs> That's just kind of funny. And lastly, we've just got toggles for location services. If you want Inbox to be able to participate with the location services through Google Play services, you can turn that on or off from here as well. And that's really the scoop on Inbox. So I'm sure I've missed some individual features or some individual benefits of this app. I'm really going to invite people to leave comments down below this video if you've been using Inbox, if you have questions about Inbox, because like I said, I've only been using it for a day and this is a first look video. It really is a fresh take on organizing email. I, I really feel if you're the type of person who's gone through and created very intricate labels and an organizational scheme that helps you clear out your inbox on a daily basis, inbox might actually feel a little destructive to that endeavor because it automates so much of the organizational process based on very similar metrics to how social networks will filter content that they feel is important to you. I don't see this being an immediate benefit for those people who are really GTD focused, getting to done focused. But I also kind of feel like that's a very small minority of the insane number of people that rely on email as a mission critical communications tool. And so for the rest of us who don't have that kind of strict control over our email, 
Inbox looks like it's going to be a really handy service for Gmail users. So folks, definitely drop me some comments down below if you've got questions about Inbox. I do not have invites yet, so please do not ask me for invites. Uh, as soon as I do have invites, I'll probably post about it on Twitter. Make sure you're following me at some gadget guy. Maybe we can uh, send out a few invites once we get them in our hot little hands. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. You guys have been phenomenal to me lately, sharing all kinds of videos out on social media, social networks, and I cannot thank you enough for bringing more people to check out this channel. Drop me those comments down below with questions, or if I've missed anything, please, if I've missed anything in inbox, please drop me some comments down below so that we can share Share this information with people who don't yet have an invite. Hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next review.